I suppose you'll object to me shooting, as usual, as you usually do. What's the line? Oh, yes. I cannot understand why you would want to shoot those poor little creatures. And then I say, well, at least they've had a better life than if they were shrink-wrapped in Tesco. said, you see. But no, 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 that's not the way you see it, is it? Never was, never will be. And that's, you see, where we... That, you see, is where we actually are of very different complexions. I sneaked out. I sneaked out. You missed it. I shot a bird. I shot a bird. A partridge for my lunch. My Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner. Please pick up. I know you're there. It's Dad. Come on, Dad. Pick the phone up. It's Christmas Day and your mother's worried about you being there. It's the first time... It's the first without Sue and Penny. We want you to come home to us. Jackie! Look, if you don't pick the phone up, I'm going to drive over there. I'm warning you. Right, I'm on my way. Shut up! Shut up! Shut! This is going to be a very late lunch. I told you you should have started earlier. Don't be ridiculous. You did not tell me I should have started earlier. You are a toy. Say it. I am a toy. I suppose you're going to object to me shooting, as usual, as you usually do. What's the line? Oh, yes, I don't understand how anyone can kill those poor animals. And then I say, well, they've led a better life than if they'd been shrink-wrapped in Tesco's, and that anyone who is going to eat meat should be prepared to kill it themselves, and that you're a hypocrite. And then you say, I don't know how anyone can take pleasure from killing something that they should allow someone else to do it for them. And then I say, well, that's just like allowing boys to shag around, but not girls. And anyway, how would you feel if Penny went... No, sorry. That's not you. That's Sue. That's Sue. BBC Radio 4, the news at 11 o'clock. The hijackers who seized an Indian Airways jet yesterday say the aircraft must stay in Afghanistan, where it landed this morning. It is one month since the death in a car accident of Jackie's wife, Sue, and their six-year-old daughter, Penny. The accident occurred on the A14 between Stowe Market and Bury St Edmunds on a frosty night after a ferocious row between husband and wife. Sue had taken Penny from her bed, wrapped her up warmly, and told Jackie that, since he was so impossible to live with, she was going home to her mother. He had replied that that was a dreadful cliché, 
but that if she insisted on being so trite, there was nothing he could do to stop her. Despite Penny's protests, Sue had screamed that she would rather die than carry on living with Jackie, and he had replied that her death would suit him very well indeed. Even if he had meant this, he would not have intended to include his daughter, so the news of their deaths in the crash left him not only bereft, but also burdened with guilt. The Archbishop of Canterbury, in his Christmas sermon, has said people need have no fear of the challenge of the new millennium. Dr George Carey said it was impossible to know what people would find, but the Christmas story of the shepherds, with its transformation of fear into belief, and then... Easily vacuum, you know. I don't think so. You will tell me I'm too important. I'm all that's left of her. Dangerous ground. Christmas.